What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for The Boys Season 3, Episode 6, Herogasm. Now, Episode 6 starts with Homelander and Deep identifying Soldier Boy and discovering he's alive via the footage of him exploding. Homelander stops Ashley from exposing this because Soldier Boy is remembered as a hero who died a as a hero who died a hero. Black Noir is then shown removing a tracking chip from his wrist. Butcher, Soldier Boy, and Homelander talk about killing Homelander and how he's in the same status as Soldier Boy before he disappeared to Russia. Soldier Boy wants revenge against his team and in return he'll help them kill Homelander. Starlight and Mother's Milk talk about sticking together with the boys falling apart and Huey and Butcher going rogue with Soldier Boy. A Train is reminded about all the crap he's done while trying to have Blue Hawk brought to justice. Homelander is then informed about Noir removing his chip to hide from Soldier Boy. We then see Homelander doubting his abilities to stop Soldier Boy, and he considers Edgar's words about him being a fraud. He's reminded of his humanity that he's tried to forget for years while still longing for parents and a family. Huey and Soldier Boy talk, and he remains upset about his team abandoning him and the state of American men. He's longed for fatherhood as well. Butcher and Huey juice up before going to Vermont to follow a lead. Starlight, Newman, and Homelander are on a broadcast to address the current state of affairs. Homelander attacks the host verbally to pander to the masses before walking off. We then see Starlight and Newman chatting about her helping them defeat Homelander. She offers to help Starlight with Homelander if Starlight helps make things better for her. Starlight rejects the offer and tells Newman to pop her head or get the F out. Nina has Kamiko and Frenchie tortured, but it seems her powers have returned and she goes on a killing spree, this of course being Kamiko. Mother's Milk talks to Starlight during a drive about Soldier Boy arriving to his neighborhood as a kid is t and terrorizing his family. He's traumatized by those events and afraid of Soldier Boy killing his family. They arrive at Herogasm. A, a once this happens once a year apparently <laughs> mother's milk gets ejaculated on <laughs> by a soup butcher and soldier boy arrive with huey at the twins house too and spy on the orgy that's occurring starlight tries to warn blue hawk about soldier boy she catches deep having sex with an octopus Huey has snuck into the house while naked as well. He confronts A-Train about Robin since he's on a compound V and is of course trying to take advantage of this to get some revenge for Robin. A-Train gives a heartfelt apology though in return. Huey still punches him and Starlight interrupts him. She tells him that Homelander is coming. Huey admits that her strength does bother him a little despite his comments earlier on their first date in the original season. Soldier Boy and Mother's Milk have a standoff, so he tries to fight him, but Butcher interrupts and tells Soldier Boy where the twins are. The twins say Noir is the one responsible for what happened to, to Soldier Boy, but Soldier Boy doesn't believe them. Soldier Boy ends up killing them and blowing up the house. A train catches Blue Hawk after the explosion and kills him by running with Blue Hawk's body dragging on the road. A train seems to like I, I would say die it looks like he's normally having a heart attack of uh, he seems to have like died yeah from having a heart attack he has a heart attack after that after that death he does to blue hawk we then see homelander arriving at the carnage to confront soldier boy he runs into butcher before before confronting soldier boy Soldier Boy calls Homelander a cheap knockoff and the two fight in one of the best fight sequences I've seen in the series so far. Butcher jumps in for a two-on-one assault. Butcher and Homelander fight as well and it's very physical. Huey then jumps in for a three-on-one while, while still naked. Homelander escapes before Soldier Boy can kill him. And then we see Homelander returning to Vought headquarters and thinking about what just happened at the Herogasm while Starlight has... Uh, while starlight is cleaning up mother's milk records starlight exposing homelander and soldier boy being alive she reveals the truth about heroes and the obsession with sustaining an image over helping americans she then quits vault and quits being starlight now the ending of this episode definitely will play into the last two episodes of this season the fact that she has this annie now that she doesn't want to be referred to as starlight has decided to expose them like this ends up having some of having some of course some consequences for her the rest of the boys and how things unfold going into episode seven and eight now i know a lot of people were looking forward to herogasm 
my recap honestly isn't even doing the episode justice there's a lot of wild bizarre scenarios that you see on screen the fight sequences that take place in this episode some of the most rewarding payoffs that we've gotten so far in this series with all this tension that's been building between butcher homelander finally having these two touch and get physical like that and then of course throwing in soldier boy and having him have a standoff with homelander all of this stuff that takes place in this episode i know is going to be talked about on the internet hero gasm i i I think at one point it was already trending before it's even aired (laughs) so after it's aired i wouldn't be surprised if this episode is just regarded as one of the best episodes from the series to date because it is just that good all the things that happen in between the performances the way starlight how the episode ends with starlight exposing certain events and how it kind of just ends on this nice cliffhanger to get you excited for episode seven coming next week when that debuts i hope everyone just has a good time with herogasm i know this episode has been hyped up a lot i know a lot of people involved with the series have got everybody excited about it after seeing the episode myself many weeks ago i was like yeah this is going to be something special this is going to be the talk of the town amongst the fandom of the boys for a while and i hope a lot of people just feel like this episode is again one of the best things that's happened from the series to date because it is just that good uh Again, my favorite moment definitely was the fight sequences, the fights between Butcher and Homelander the most. Again, because we've had this tension that's been building between them since the very first season and seeing them interact like that, even though we know that Butcher isn't a soup, him being on this temporary compound V and interacting with Homelander like this, it's just like finally he's getting his justice. He's getting to pound on this guy who in his mind has caused him so much emotional pain. He's become kind of an obsession, honestly, for Butcher too. And that's not really all Homelander's fault as much as it is Butcher's. Like you got to have some self-control. You can't let you can't let this man and the pain he's caused you let you lose yourself and i think that's honestly what's happening here with this storyline about him taking this temporary compound v like i've made mention of in other videos i've done talking about the boys he's losing his he's losing sight of the bigger picture because he's finally getting a chance to stick it to homelander and while it's rewarding and you can understand his pain and his frustration don't lose sight of the bigger picture and don't lose yourself because you're mad at this one guy but let me know what you guys think about hero gasm when you see it down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications. you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video